In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you a simple way to take the slide effect as the beginning animation for a title and use it on multiple titles in various ways to create a very interesting way to bring text on the screen. You will often find this technique used in advertising. We're going to show you a short clip of a somewhat finished example and then show you how to do this yourself. So we have on the screen our video clip of a waterfall. And I have that and below it I have an audio track which is basically some background music. We're going to put our title on track number two between these two objects. So we click on our title room or press the F7 key and that will get me to my titles. I'll take my default title and drag and drop it on the top half of track number two and then I'll extend it so that it's approximately the length of my video clip. In the real world I'd have to edit my audio clip as well. We won't bother with that in this example. So now I have my ubiquitous my title. I'll double click on it or I can press the F2 key. Now I'm in the title designer. I want to change the name of this. We're going to call this vacation and I'd like to change the font for this. Let's me, let me use impact and we're going to make it somewhat smaller. Let's drop down to uh, 38. Now I want to position these in a special place. So I'm going to turn on my grid lines if you haven't used that feature before, you click to the lower right of the preview screen, the box with the dotted area. We already have turned on our safe zone. If I click on this again, I have an option called grid lines. You don't see those on the screen, but you can choose between a 2x2 two two all the way up to a 10x10. 10 10. I'm going to use a simple 8x8, eight and that gives me grid lines, so that will help me align my text. So now I have vacation. I want to change the color of that. Let's make it a purple. So now I have the word vacation. I think I'll make it pop a little more by highlighting it again. And then we're going to add a border around it. I'll click on border. I don't want blue. I'll pick white. Click on OK. I'm going to take my size and drag the slider back to 2. And so now I have my word vacation. Now I want to align that, and so we're going to move it over so the grid matches these two coordinates in the upper left. The next thing I want to do is add another title. I'm going to click on the T again, and this time I want to use Summer. And in this case, we'll take it and move it up. And I'm going to change the color of this. Instead of purple, we'll make it white which means I don't want a white border. Let's go with a black border. Click the black, click on OK. And now I have Summer Vacation. The next thing I want to do is Special. And if I click on the T in the upper left corner of the preview screen, now you notice it inherits whatever type of title that you have used most recently or clicked on. So we'll do Spectacular, and then we'll drag it down and snap it to the grid line. And now we have Summer Vacation Spectacular. Now I would like these a little closer to each other than they are here. So I'm going to manually move them by highlighting them, make, make sure I see the bounding box around the text. And then I'll use the up arrow key and that will allow me to position it off the grid. And here I'm just guessing with the spacing because I don't have a grid tighter than a 10 by 10 and I'm only using an 8 by 8. But that looks pretty good. So now I have Summer Vacation Spectacular. And now we want to do our 40% off, so I'm going to click on my title again. And I'll do a 40% off. And in this case, we're going to move it a little bit to the right. And we're going to change this quite a bit. Instead of a single color on this one, we're going to click on a different option for color. I'm going to go from uniform color and I'm going to click a two color gradient. We'll start with a maroon. 
I think I want to end with a yellow, something a little, let's see if that works a little better. That's pretty good. And then we can change the direction of the blend. I liked it as it started. There's our 40% off. And so now we have all the text starting at the same time and it's all static. What I'd like to do is add one more item before we show you how to use the slider. Let's add another text. We'll click on the summer here and click on T. Daytime Travels. It's creating another name for our company. We'll take it and we'll move it up to the upper right. And in this case, I want to change uh, several things about it. I'd like to change the font face on this one. And we'll do with something a little bit uh, unique here. And we'll change the size. And let's change the color as well. And we'll make it bold. And I think I'm going to make it smaller yet. Then we'll put it in the upper right corner. So here we have our company. We have our grid. I'm going to turn off my grid lines. They're rather annoying right now. And now I can see my text. Let's do some adjustment to it. First of all, I want the word summer to be the first one I see, and I want it to come down from the top. So I'm going to click on anywhere on summer. We'll click on effect. We'll do starting effect, so we'll click to the right. And then we'll go near to the bottom. We have several slides. And we'll do slide down. And now that slides down. Let's do spectacular. And on the spectacular, you notice it tells me where I am above my options. Let's do a slide up. Let's click on Vacation, and we'll click on Slide Right. And so when we play these three together, very simply, now they come together. But what I'd like to do is stagger them. So I want Vacation, Summer to be first, then I'm going to take Vacation and drag it to the right. And then I'll take Spectacular and drag that to the right. And then I want my 40% off title to be a little bit different yet. And so what I'm going to do is change that. That will be, uh, let's use a zoom on that one. So I highlight the 40% off and we'll do a, a zoom here. And uh, in the example you saw, we added a line for a phone number. We can do that yet, but we always want daytime travels up. So I'm going to click on OK. Let's play our somewhat finished clip and see what happens. We have summer, vacation, spectacular, 40% off. Now the one thing I notice about it that I immediately have to change is the timing. It's very slow. If you notice most commercial advertising, the letters come on very, very quickly. So we're going to shorten our duration of our effect. And I'm going to change it to about one second. And I'm going to take the word vacation and drag it back shorten that to about one second so we'll be in approximately two seconds and then I'll take spectacular bring it back and shorten the duration of that to about one second and that means we will also want our 40 percent off on the screen sooner these are simple adjustments you can make as you decide what would be the right speed of the timing of the text movement on your screen. Now we'll play our title at a faster speed and you see the advantage of tightening it up.
And that's a very simple way to use on the same title element multiple slides to make your text pop on in a very attractive way.